Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 9 of Book 4. And in this proposition, we will demonstrate how to take a square and to draw a circle around the square such that the circle passes through the vertices of the square. So to do this, it's very straightforward. We draw a line from A to C and we draw a line from D, B to D, and we take E as the intersection point. Now taking E as the center of the circle and AE as the radius, we draw a circle, and this circle will pass through the points B, C, and D. To prove that this is so, let's consider the two triangles ABC and ACD. Now these two triangles we have AB is equal to AD, because after all this is a square, BC is equal to CD, and finally AC is common to both triangles. So we have two triangles where the sides, three sides, are all equal. According to Proposition 4, ah, according to Proposition 8, if we have two triangles with all three sides equals, the triangle is equal in all respects, including the angles. Thus, the angle BAC is also equal to CAD. Or in other words, alpha is equal to half of the original angle at A. Similarly, we can show that the angle gamma is equal to half the original angle at B. But since ABCD is a square, A and B are equal angled, so half of A and half of B will also be equal. In other words, alpha and gamma are equal. So let's look at this triangle, ABE. Alpha and gamma are equal, which means it's an isosceles triangle. And as an isosceles triangle, BE is equal to AE. In other words, these two lines are equal. Similarly, we can show that BC, sorry, BE is equal to CE, which is equal to DE. In other words, these four lines are all equal. So if we were to take a circle with E as the center and A as the radius, it will pass through B since this is the same size as that. And thus we have shown the necessary steps required to take a given square and to draw a circle such that it passes through each of the square's vertices. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.